Welcome to Dallas Social Cafe. We have a great show in store for you today. First, we'll head over to the Dallas Arboretum for the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Then, we'll take a look at the Legacy of Love fashion show and benefit being produced by Tootsies. Now, come with me as we head to the Dallas Arboretum and see some of the most beautiful and creative hats in the city of Dallas at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party and Fashion Show. Welcome to the Dallas Arboretum. I'm here at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party 2015, benefiting the Women's Council of the Dallas Arboretum and the Dallas Botanical Garden. Well, today I have lots of lovely ladies and men to speak with, and we have lots of surprises in stores to stay with us on Dallas Social Cafe as we experience Mad Hatter's 2015, the ultimate tea party. Welcome to Mad Hatter's 2015. Today I'm joined by Sharon Popham, who is our chair this year, and she is responsible for making all this fabulousness happen. Well, Sharon, welcome. Thank you so much. This is our 27th year of Mad Hatter's. People come from all over the United States, from California, New York. And I have heard about this. Even in New York, people say, oh, you have this amazing hat party in Dallas. Absolutely. And we have a wonderful fashion show today. We have Betty Ryder. We have Canary Nardos Imam in VOD participating in our fashion show. And I know it's going to be fantastic, as it always yeah. is. Um, let's talk a little bit about the live auction, because I saw one of your friends wearing this fabulous ring. It is a 55.8 topaz designed by uh, Yanni and David Lee Holland. We are so privileged to have this one-of-a-kind designed just for this event. Well, let's talk about what everyone wants to know. Tell us about the hat categories, okay? We have eight categories. They are best in show, botanical, most elegant, most outlandish, most true to the theme, which is April in Paris, most whimsical, and then we have actually have the people's choice and group, which everyone will be voting on this year. So all the guests have a chance to see who they want to win. Well, thank you so much for taking this on. I know what a big undertaking it is, and it's going to be a wonderful day, and the weather I think is going to hold out for a little bit. So uh, thank you so much, Sharon. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now I'm joined with Marina Galt. She is the president of the Women's Council of the Dallas Arboretum Botanical Garden. It's a mouthful. It's quite a mouthful. I was going to say that. So Marina, let's talk a little bit about this event and what it means to the Botanical Garden of Dallas. Well, it's such a wonderful event uh, to raise funds for our woman's garden, which is the only garden in the United States which was uh, conceived by women, designed by women, and completely maintained by women. And so it's the perfect event to showcase the beauty and the power and the strength of women. Now we're in our 27th year of Mad Hatters, from what I understand, so that's very exciting. How long have you personally been involved with the Dallas Botanical Garden and the Women's Council in particular? Well, probably longer than I'd like to admit, uh, about 20 years, and my husband was a past chairman of the board, and he started as driving a tram as a volunteer. So what do you hope to achieve today with this event? Well, we have such a fabulous honorary chair, and she's been extremely generous, and our funds have already uh, created a heart-shaped pulpit for a woman's garden, thanks to Sherwood Wagner and her mother, Lissa Wagner. So we are very grateful for our fabulous honorary chair. Well, thank you so much, Marina. Actually, I'm going to go and talk to Sherwood Wagner Yay, now. I love her. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Well, speaking of Sherwood Wagner, I actually found her and I have her with me right now. Sherwood, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here on Dallas Social Cafe. Um, I've heard a lot about how wonderful you are from Marina and from Sharon and everyone in the community. You have such a wonderful reputation. So I want to thank you for what you do for Dallas because it's so much. Tell me personally what the Dallas Arboretum and the Women's Council means to you. I've been so impressed with the leadership of Marina and Sharon. I really had not been anywhere aware of how much is involved with actually running the Arboretum and what it means to the community, if it's just for a day of school kids that we've seen coming through or if it's for your wedding day. It's just been a fantastic, exceptional experience for me to be a part of and get to continue to support. Thank you for taking your time today. Have fun. I appreciate you too. We'll come back to Mad Hatters later in the show. After the break, we'll head over to Tootsie's and sit down with a famous bachelor and a hardworking chairperson. Imagine your child tells you that when they grow up, they want to be a servant. What would you think? 
Maybe they have low self-esteem. After all, servants change sheets. They do work most will not. They pick up after others. They clean up after accidents. Servants take what's worn out and make it last another 30 years. Servants change sheets and hearts and minds and history and tomorrow and how many birthday parties there will be. Servants change everything. Today, I'm joined by Diane Hobson and Jake Pavelka, and we're talking about the Legacy of Love Benefit and Fashion Show that's happening in Collin County. Welcome, guys. It's so yes. glad to have Thank you here you. today. Thank you. So, Diane, let's talk a little bit about the Legacy of Love at Benefits Children's Medical Center of Plano. And Correct. tell me about the event and um, what's going on next week. All right. Well, the event is structured around a fashion show, and it's at the Park Place Lexus. Uh, flagship dealership off of uh, the tollway in, in Collin County and um, we partner with Tootsies mm -hmm. and we put on this fabulous fashion show that benefits children's. It is put on by the Women's Auxiliary and we uh, serve children's in several different arenas but this is our premier event, this Legacy of Love event. Because we are a nonprofit organization all of our sponsor funds go directly to medical needs at Children's. Oh, that's and we're wonderful. very proud of that. We have approximately 170 members in the Women's Auxiliary Legacy Chapter. Mm -hmm. Not the Dallas Chapter, they're a little bigger than us. We have only been around about five years. And, um, but we have um, thus far given Children's over uh, a half a million dollars from our fundraising. That's great. Yeah, we're very proud of that. Well, so Jake, how did you get involved in this? Tell me about that, because this is a women's fashion show event, so. <laughs> uh, well, a couple of months ago, Diane reached out and said they were looking for an MC for the, the Legacy of Love 2015 fashion show. She was explaining how the charity works and, and uh, how the money's deployed out and, and, and really helps and impacts children that have, that have medical needs. And how can you say no to that? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, one of my, my big platforms and uh, passions is uh, the children. Mm -hmm. And so anything I can do to help is really my honor to be involved. 
Well, I know they're glad to have you. Yeah. Tell me um, and our viewers, if they want to get involved with the Legacy of Love, um, how would they find out more about the event and sponsor it or become a partner with you all? Okay, well, they, one of the best ways is to go to our website, mm -hmm. and that would be um, childrensauxiliary.org mm -hmm. uh, backslash Legacy of Love, and there'll be information there, and they can participate. Okay. And they can donate. So. so it's been so exciting to hear about everything that's happening this year. But um, if some people weren't able to make it to the event this year, how can they get involved for next year? Because I know that next year will be your fourth, fourth year. Tell us yes. a little bit about going forward what you plan to achieve. All right. Thank you. Well, it, the event was a huge success. Mm -hmm. and, um, but we already have plans in place for our 2016 event. We expect it to be in April. Mm -hmm. and um, we welcome our sponsors back and uh, we are so grateful for what they have done for us in the past mm -hmm. and um, we look forward to having them back again and growing this event. Well, good. Well, Thank I hope you. that more people will get involved because um, I certainly have a heart for children and I'm very much appreciative of the fact that both of you all are doing this. And Jake, thank you so much. I mean, you're so busy for taking your time to <laughs> well, do this for, for the kiddos because um, you know, giving back, I think, is the most important thing that we yes. can do in our lives. So, thank you. Yes. We agree. Thank you. Mm -hmm. When we come back, I'll speak with Diane Hobson and Dustin Holcomb about the Legacy of Love Fashion Show and Benefit. What is the difference between being a health care provider and a servant? We're working to make the difference obvious. Because no matter the situation, no matter the odds, no matter the hour, all that really matters are those we serve. Being a healthcare provider is a job description. Being a servant, that's a calling. We're talking with Diane Hobson and Dustin Holcomb of Tootsies. And Dustin's going to talk a little about the fashion show for Legacy of Love. So, so excited. I'm very excited. Tell me about some of the items that we can expect to see at the event. So we will show the very best of Tootsies. And that will include everything from our latest styles in denim to uh, looks from our contemporary departments and our young designer departments. But we are so excited to feature Nicole Miller mm -hmm. at this event. So we will also have the very best of Nicole Miller, spring and summer, and we'll have looks from her dresses line as well as her contemporary separates. Well, you guys at Tootsies have a great selection. I've shopped here for years, so I'm so excited to be at this fashion show and see what you have to offer. 
Um, we're going into spring, obviously, so tell us a little bit about some of the spring trends that you guys are going to be featuring on the runway. Well, we will have, um, like I said, denim. Um, in terms of denim, it's all about the flare. The flare is back, so we'll see Ooh, a lot of that. Ooh, yay, I like that. <laughs> um, my personal favorite for spring is suede. I know that uh, may be something new for some people because typically it's associated with the fall and winter. Mm -hmm. But we have suede in all of our departments, so you'll see it in handbags, you'll see it in vests. Um, there's a fabulous pair of suede shorts downstairs that I'm excited to show. So when you're talking suede, and um, let's talk about color a little bit. So when you say suede for the spring and the summer, are you talking about lighter colors? Or are you talking, tell us a little bit more about that. Typically it's in, um, in the neutral mm -hmm. family. So we'll see it in tans and topes, um, khaki and camel, um, and a little bit of white. So it's really easy to put back with all of the great um, pops of color for spring that we see. Suede shorts. Hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would like this, except for in August, maybe. <laughs> okay, so we talked a little bit about Nicole Miller, which I'm so excited. That is amazing, Diane, we, that we you guys so have her happy. coming. We yes, are so excited. for the we VIP. We're so grateful for her to champion our event. It's awesome. And how did you get the, her involved, or did you do that? Um, well, we, we love Nicole Miller, mm -hmm. um, and she's one of our strongest brands that we believe in for our store, mm -hmm. and so we have a long-standing relationship with her and her team, and we were just able to make that happen um, for Diane and um, the Legacy of Love event. Well, she's a wonderful woman. She's an mm -hmm. amazing woman, and her accomplishments are stellar, and this event is put on by the Women's Auxiliary, so it's just a great match for us. We're very grateful. So on um, uh, the VIP event where she's going to be, um, tell us a little bit about um, what happens to your, your people that are invited, what happens that night with who's invited and things like that. So we um, are, are uh, so excited to host her in store mm -hmm. and we will have um, the VIP donors um, from the event mm -hmm. here. So we'll have cocktails in true Tootsie's fashion. Um, we will have DJ Blake Ward, um, we'll have some great appetizers, and we'll have informal modeling of some of those um, looks that haven't even hit stores yet from her summer line. Well, that's great. Well, I, I know that there may be some other surprises, but I am not going to let the cat out of the bag, so we'll just have to see what happens. Exactly. Um, but thank you both for visiting with me thank today on so Dallas much. Social Cafe, and I just want to tell you again how much I love Tootsies. And, thank um, you. Your clothing. I mean, every, anytime I want to find something, you know, at the last minute, I just call up Pat, and I'm like, I need you to dress me, and she does it very well. So. And we are so thrilled to do that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. They're very good at that. <laughs> Isn't the Legacy of Love Benefit and Fashion Show a great charity event? After the break, we'll be back for more Mad Hatters. What does it mean to be a servant? Is it about changing sheets? Yes, servants change sheets. And hearts. And minds. And history. And tomorrow and how many birthday parties there will be. Servants change everything.
Well, I am joined by the designer of this fabulous jewelry we've been talking about. This is Yanni Kiriazes and Mariana, our model. So Yanni, let's talk about first the piece that you designed for Mad Hatters. Well, this is actually a magnolia leaf ring, and that's in honor of all the beautiful magnolias that are here at the Arboretum. And keeping with the theme of April in Paris, we cut in New York because we do our own gemstones. Mm -hmm. uh, we cut a natural color 55 carat Rose de France. April in Paris, magnolias in Dallas, they go together. They do. And we, you know, we like everything we big in Texas, too. So you did, you did well, well with this piece. Let I me tell you. I think we also that. like things discreetly elegant in Texas, too. That's my understanding of we it. We love that. Yes. And let, let me talk to you a little bit. We just saw a piece that was on Sherwood that was yes. a necklace and an earring set. So tell me about that as well. Well, we designed based on botanical form. David is a, a, a descended from the Texas Old 300. Uh, he's a second generation jeweler. I'm from Greece originally and we love nature. So she was showing you a beautiful orchid pendant mm -hmm. and everything that we do is botanically inspired, made by hand in the US. It's 100% recycled precious metals. We're committed to saving the earth and supporting very important botanical gardens across the country. So that's our love, that's our passion and we get to do it in, in gold and in platinum. I love that concept. Do you mind giving yourself a shout out with your website in case other ladies want to buy your jewelry? Well, sure, absolutely. It's www.davidleeholland.com. And we're actually doing a personal appearance at Neiman Marcus in Dallas at Willow Bend all week this week. And we come to Dallas very frequently at Neiman Marcus. So you can always see us and our collection is going to be there through the month. Well, thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. you both being here and I can't wait to see who walks away with this lovely treasure. We're going to see. <laughs> well, I'm here with sassy lifestyle guru and my dear friend, Steve Kimball. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. You look fabulous. I love your, your hat makes me want to like can can. Well, we're kind of <laughs> twins with our red today, aren't we? Red is the color of the day, I think. I love red. It's a good energy color. You know what I mean? It makes you feel good. It's my favorite, so I, I love it love too. It. Tell me about your hat because this is different from what you normally do. Yeah, I usually do something like real heavy and like over the top, but this year I decided I wanted to do a suit. So Rob Bradford, who is fabulous, did my suit, and Shane Walker, who's incredible, did my hat. Yes, he did your hat as well. So I'm going with like a tulips theme since it's the Arboretum. Well, Steve, let's talk about some of the things that you have seen that you kind of favor a little bit. I don't want to get anybody, you know, I, let's just talk about some of the things you thought were really cool or really neat this year. Well, the only hat that I really, really, really have fallen in love with so far this year is yours. Oh, thank you. You're so, isn't he a good friend? We have a winner. Okay, that's all. I love it. I love, and I love the botanical ones. You know, a lot of the hats have fresh flowers on them, which I think has got to be such a challenge, but they look amazing. They look amazing. Those guys that make those hats, Shane and everyone else, have to work really overtime overnight to oh keep those fresh flowers oh. intact. Well, Steve, thank you so much. Thank you look you. fabulous as always. I'm oh. so glad that you took the time to talk with me today on Dallas Social Cafe. I'll always talk to you. You're the best. You're, we are so lucky to have you in this city. We just have to do air kiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, air kiss so we don't knock up our hair. <laughs> That's right. All right. Love you. Thank you, love. Well, I'm here with local blogger Cynthia Smoot at Oh So Cynthia, who has the most famous blog in town, I might say, and that everybody reads. You've been on it a couple of times. <laughs> well, and I thank you for putting me on it. You're welcome. So, Cynthia, everybody wants to know about the judging process, and you are a judge. I can reveal that. Yes. So, tell me a little bit about how you were chosen as a judge and what that entails. It's my, one of my favorite events of the year. You can see why. It's amazing. It's so much fun. Um, and I literally begged to be a judge because I have been here as an attendee. So I thought it would be so fun to help pick the winner because I know how passionate these women are and how much planning goes into their outfits. So I'm going to bestow some honor upon somebody today. Well, we're so glad that you have, and you're absolutely right. Women that come to this event, I mean, sometimes they plan an entire year, you know, with their theme, the elements that go on their hat, and it's quite an expensive undertaking, as you know. So it's all about the fashion and the hat. That's right. Well, I love the creativity that goes into this, um, the imagination. I, I have none, but I appreciate it in others. Oh, you have a lot, sister. Let me no, tell you. That's why I just call Shane. <laughs> I just go help. Use your creative genius. So I, I just think it's so fun to come out and see what people dream up and what they can actually put together, whether they have help or not. Um, I just think it's, it's just, I feel like a four-year-old playing dress up, only there's champagne. So it's fabulous. It's so much fun. And I'm just thrilled to be here and support the Dallas Arboretum. Well, I look forward to reading in your column, Oh So Cynthia, what you have to say about the winners and everything that went on today here at Mad Hatters 2015. So thank you so much for being with us today on Dallas Social Cafe. Thanks for having me.
I'm here at Mad Hatter's 2015 with the always lovely and beautiful Gina Ginsberg. Gina, welcome to Dallas Social Cafe. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Well, we are standing in the Ginsburg Plaza, so your family has really left a legacy here at the Arboretum. Tell us about that. I know you were honorary chair last year. Tell us about your love for the Dallas Arboretum and Botanical Gardens. Oh, goodness. This is a party I look forward to every year. Being here in the Ginsburg Family Plaza once a year with so many beautiful women, incredibly creativity, creative hats, it's just, it's, it's wonderful. The Arboretum's eye has been very, very special to our hearts and to be able to see it used in this way every year just warms my heart. Well, we thank you for what your family's done for the city of Dallas. Now it's time to talk fashion. So tell me a little bit about your fascinator. Oh goodness, this was a gift actually from a girlfriend of mine, uh, Leslie Garza, and she has a, a party every year called Birds of a Feather, mm -hmm. and um, it w this was our, our gift. It came from London, and she orders a new one for us every year. I just love it. I think it's so classy. So can I ask you what you're wearing? Because you always have the most beautiful clothes. Thank you. It's Dolce & Gabbana. Well, it looks fabulous on you. So it looks like Dolce, sweet and beautiful, and just like a scoop of ice cream. It looks oh, wonderful. <laughs> So, well, thank you so much for coming today. Um, I know how much you love this event, how much you love the, the gardens and the people of Dallas because of what you do. And thank you for your heart. Your heart speaks volumes about who you are. Oh, and yeah, I appreciate that. Great. And I appreciate your friendship to me. Of course. Have a great time today. Yes, you look fabulous as <laughs> thank well. You. Well, here we are at the end of Mad Hatter's 2015 at the Dallas Botanical Gardens and the Arboretum. We've had a wonderful day. We've visited with some wonderful ladies and gentlemen and had a lot of great results from today's hat contest. Plus, we had a beautiful fashion show as well by Jan Strimple. We loved our theme, April in Paris. Who could get more excited about a theme than April in Paris? We all love Paris. So today, we had a little taste of Paris here at the Dallas Arboretum. Thank you for joining us on Dallas Social Cafe, and we'll see you again soon. Dallas Social Cafe would like to thank Baylor, Scott & White for their closed captioning sponsorship.